Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take you downstairs to my bathroom. We're going to have a little bit of a mini facial with these. And then we're going to go in for a very natural day look with the makeup products. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Hi, I'm Katie and I normally do not come on camera with absolutely nothing on my face. However, as your guest from the title, I'm sharing with you today some skincare dupes from Aldi. They're copies of very, very well-known brands and the packaging as you'll see is almost designed exactly like the more expensive or designer brand. Um, so that you guys obviously recognize the product and I am today trying them out for you. I'm going to give you my first impressions of the product. Now most of them I have tried before in the actual branded product. If I haven't I will let you know. And yeah, I'm just going to give you my honest feedback of them. I'll let you know how much they were and yeah, let's just get straight into it. And hence that's why I've got no makeup on because obviously some of them are skincare products and I wanted to use them on my skin and give you my honest review together as we're doing it all here right now. If you are a the subscriber, you are the best. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then please remember to hit that subscribe button for some good vibes. Subscribe for all those good vibes. And if you do enjoy this video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below if you've tried any of them or if there's any that you definitely want to go out and try. Unfortunately, I can't link them down below if you don't think you can buy them online from Aldi, but you know, go and see in your nearest Aldi what they have in store. So what I'm going to do first is show you all the things I bought, let you know how much they all are, and then I'm going to go through them and have a little test. So it's going to be kind of fun, um, kind of free, and yeah. Sorry about the background. I'm in my office, but whenever I film in here, you can see the back of Reese's, like man zone. And yeah, so I just think it's a nice place to film as a change from my, my bedroom because I was filming my halls in my bedroom and I just think, I don't know, it's not really like a setup for like a sit down chat then. If you haven't got a cup of tea, go and get yourself a cup of tea. I've got my partner's sister's mug, it's got an F on it, not a K. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Get yourself a nice cup of tea, get a picky, pause the video, come back, and we'll talk all things skincare at ridiculously cheap prices. <laughs> a lot of products that I kind of couldn't resist and I probably would have bought a lot more but I had to stop myself um, if you haven't read about what these are basically um, I will leave an article linked down below where you can have a little read of what the dupes are and also there's quite a few down there that I haven't purchased so I know there's a primer which is very much like I think it's called the studio fix primer there's lots of things like that some items I couldn't get which I really wanted to get which I'll tell you at the end of the video and show you picture of what they are from the article and I'm hoping to go to a different Aldi and pick them up and if I do I will create another video for you if you enjoy this one and um, so yeah I got a lot a lot of products first thing I just want to show you these which I think I got as a bargain this I actually got from Lidl not Aldi this was five pound which I think look at the size of it that's absolute bargain and this one I normally have the one with like rose water in but I found it's been like making me a little bit spotty so I've got this one instead and this is suitable for sensitive skin. I'm hoping this is going to be good and it's oily in combination skin, which at the minute my skin is. Just two things I want to show you before we get into this bit. And then I also got some biodegradable, bio, biodegradable um, toothbrushes, which is so exciting because I think these were like £1.50, which is nuts because honestly, I've got some downstairs and they're pink and blue. I've got some downstairs that cost us about four or five pound per toothbrush, which um, when I saw these, I was so gutted, but I was like, I'll just pick them up because you always need a new toothbrush every now and then. So let's get into the products. I don't know where to start because I'm so excited by them all. Okay, so what I got, I got the, this is called the Too Legit Waterproof Mascara. This is meant to be a copy of Benefit They're Real, and I'm guessing the waterproof one is like waterproof. I normally don't go for waterproof mascaras, but it was just such a good price, and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to try it. Um, normally, I find waterproof ones hard to get off, but my makeup remover does say removes waterproof makeup, so we'll give that a good test when I um, apply this in a bit. 
and the waterproof mascara was 5 99 so it's about like the price of a cheap boots one. So I think that's kind of reasonable. Um, we'll have a little look inside and see what it's like. Shall we? Oh, so they, <laughs> they literally look exactly like the their real ones, but it just says too legit. I love it. I love how they just completely copy the branding. It's absolutely hilarious, but it does make you think of the product. So it's a very, very good sales technique. Um, then next I got the Radiant Concealer and this is meant to be like the NARS Creamy Concealer which is about £30 I think, I've got to say, that's normally about £25 I think and then this is normally about just under £30 for a concealer which I think is quite a lot um, and this one was £3.99 so it comes in three shades and I'm a little bit torn which one to get but I always think with concealer you want it to be a little bit lighter than your actual skin tone so I think it's nice to do like that brightening under the eyes and if you're going to cover any blemishes, you don't want it, like, it to be dark, and you can always go over the foundation. So I went for the cream shade. And this <laughs> looks exactly the same as the NARS concealer. Um, so I'm excited to give that one a little try. Let's get the packaging. This is exactly like the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, however, the packaging of this one's a little bit different, um, but it's just a little brow gel. And this brow gel was $1.99. I wanted to try brow gel forever because you probably have to see now, I don't actually have that much brows going on. Um, I usually tint them, but as we're in lockdown at the minute, I actually don't have any brow tint here and I haven't bought any online. I've tinted them once during lockdown and they are due another tint now because I borrowed um, my boyfriend's sister's brow tint. Um, so I'll be excited to see what these are like and I got this in the shade light and then these two products so these are ones that have been in Aldi for a little while they're the La Cura range the caveat illumination day cream and anti-aging night cream and these are copies of let me tell you what it's called because I can't pronounce it wait there Oh, so they also have tangle teasers for 2 49 which if you'll know if you've ever bought a tangle teaser like I have, they're like £10 minimum normally. I already have one, so obviously I didn't buy that. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you, they had these amazing eyeshadows. I don't wear eyeshadow because I just don't think it suits me. But if you're an eyeshadow fan, they had these copies of the Naked palettes which looked insane. The colours in them were dreamy. I also don't wear um, blusher, but they've copied the Benefit blusher. Um... Setting spray, I'm too low maintenance for that, but they copied Urban Decay setting spray. Uh, again, I'm too low maintenance for the primer. Uh, this is meant to be a copy of a Smashbox one, which is £28 normally, this is £5.99. Um, yeah, the mascara I am excited to try. Oh, so here's the eyeshadow palettes. So they're £5.99. I don't know how well that's coming up on the screen because I've actually cracked my uh, camera. Uh, but the Naked palette is £43 and that's £5.99. I kind of wanted to buy it just to try to see what the pigmentation was like because I really, really don't wear eyeshadows unless I'm going to like a wedding or something, which is like once a year. I didn't think it was worthwhile. Uh, they've got a copy of the Pink Clay Mask. I'm just going through everything now while I'm trying to find these. Um, this I really wanted to find but they didn't have it. It was the La Cura Moisture Boost, which is a copy of the Moisture Surge from Clinique for only £4.99 for £37. So this one I did get, which is a Miracle Cream, um, and it says on here £25, but actually I was going to buy this Miracle Cream the other day because I can't actually remember why I was going to buy it. The Aldi Toner, so these are obviously copies of the Pixie Toners. Um, this is £3.99 and the Pixie Tonic is 18 pound i do actually have the pixie glow tonic um which i use daily and i really like so i'll be intrigued to see what this one's like it's not the glow version although they do have that they have glow and vitamin c and retinol and rose but i've been wanting the rose pixie tonic for ages so i was like i'm just gonna get it um for 3.99 i mean for 3.99 you could have got all four of them that would only have been 16 pound that's, that's not even the price of one pixie tonic. When you think about that, that's nuts. Um, and then I got the hot cloth cleanser. So I actually got the vitamin C one in the article. It just says hot cloth cleanser. So I think this is a copy of a different one than it is in the article. Excuse my chavy phone case. We will not ask about it. it looks like a 16-year-old girl's phone case, I know. Um, so I think 
this is a copy of a different one, but the one in the article is like the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser, which is great, but I am quite happy with the Vitamin C one, to be honest, because I think it's more brightening of the skin, which I, is something I always look for in skincare, it's something to brighten and enhance. And since I've been really looking after my skin, honestly, I'm quite, don't think I would come on camera without any makeup on, or even, excuse me, any screen cream on, or anything. I've literally got a complete bare face right now, like not even, a toner or a moisturizer on because I wanted it to be completely bare so I could use these things. Um, concealer pen, oh my god, they've got a copy of the Yves Saint Laurent one which I couldn't find, which I was gutted about. Um, so that's meant to be £26 and theirs is £2.99. Again, I wanted this but it wasn't there. It's the Kiehl's Night Overnight Discovery uh, Repair. Theirs is four, £4.99 and the Kiehl's one is £38. Um, this one I managed to get, which was a copy of Kiehl's Ultimate Face Cream. This is £3.99, so the Kiehl's one. Oh, my friend's ringing me. Um, yeah, so I managed to get the Kiehl's Facial Cream. Uh, but I've not actually tried the Kiehl's one, but it's on my to get list. And the eye cream is on my to buy list. So I'll be intrigued to try this. And then maybe if I love it, maybe I'll try the Kiehl's and see the difference. Um, so again, some gorgeous eyeshadow palettes on here. They have a copy of the Iconic Highlighter, but I couldn't get that one. Um, they have a copy of the Translucent Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. And um, here we finally found it, it's a big article. So these are copies of the Prari Skin Cream. And the skin cream is £384. This was 6 99 which I almost begrudgingly paid, but now I'm very happy with. Um, and the same for this one, this is three, uh, 6 99 as well. So I can't believe the price difference. Was there anything else that I wanted to share? No, I think that's all. So yeah, so basically we talked about everything. The only thing I haven't talked about is this BB cream, which I've been looking for a BB cream for a while. So I was kind of just excited just to try anyone, to see if I liked it. Um, I'm not really into wearing too much makeup, like especially all this time we've got at home. So yeah, let's get going and give them all a try. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take you downstairs to my bathroom. We're going to have a little bit of a mini facial with these. And then we're going to go in for a very natural day look with the makeup products. Excuse my water bottle. So I'm going to show you the Vitamin C Cloth Cleanser. Finish with some tonic, moisturise. Um, I'm actually going to use those like together. Um, I've already tried this one and I really like it. Um, so I might try using the facial cream instead today. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the makeup for like literally a nice natural at home makeup look. I'm really excited. Let's go down to my bathroom. <laughs> also, if you like this jumper, which I think is super cute, it is from JJ's house, which I'm doing a review of. Um, so make sure you subscribe to see all their gorgeous products and you get a discount with my discount code. Boom. Boom, shake a boom, boom. So, um, yeah, you need to use this with a muslin cloth, but if you don't have one, then like any, any flannel will do. Oh, oh, it comes with one. Ignore me because it comes with one. How fantastic is that? I'm even more impressed. Hey, right, let's try this then. Probably should have got a hair bottle, shouldn't I? Not gonna lie. Okay. Right. Dry skin, it says, so let's try it. Go in there with that. Oh my god, first impression the smell. It smells like a mango treat. Oh my god, that smells amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it just for the smell, even if it's crap. <laughs> fresh it feels clean it feels a little bit you know when it feels like a bit taut and a bit tight it feels like that so i'm happy i'm enjoying that very impressed that it had a cloth with it didn't realize that that makes it even more of a bag doesn't it that makes it that even more of a bag so i feel like that was a good start my skin feels really soft really nice now i'm going to go in with the healthy glow rose toner and 
not gonna lie, a bit may have already used this because I was so excited to try it. Again, the smell is beautiful. It gives like a bit of a, a taut feeling again on the skin. I was saying with the cleanser did. Really get it pours nice and clean around the nose. I love the smell of rose. I just love it. Okay, finish using that one. What do we think? I'm trying to get a mirror actually for putting these on. So, my first impression of that are it does exactly what a toner should do, which is it cleans any excess dirt off the face. Um, obviously, the smell is insane on this one. And it's got hyaluronic acid, rose, elderflower water, aloe vera to help soothe and tone, leave refreshed, calmer, a rehydrated skin. Vegan and vegetarian friendly. Very happy with product number two. Product number three, we're gonna try the copy of the Kiehl's cream. Actually before that, I'm gonna use the miracle cream on my, I can say acne, it's not acne, on my spots. Looks exactly like the, um, Liz Arden one. The product itself looks exactly like the Liz Arden one as well. Elizabeth Arden, Lizzie, Lizzie girl. So it's very orangey on the skin, not sure if you can see that. Um, I'm going to put it on my spots and you're going to have to come over to my Insta stories. So come over and follow me on Instagram to see how I get on with this one because obviously this isn't going to be an instant result. Um, this doesn't have too much of a smell. I'm actually going to put it on my lips as well. So I know you can use it for like chap lips, dry lips. I think that'll be nice. Okay, so that's the Liz Arden cream. And um, next I'm gonna use the Kiehl's one. So the Kiehl's one is a lightweight formula, 24 hour hydration, tara seed, sea algae, and the ultimate hydrator. Okay, so when I got this one, I was like, oh, it's really small, but actually, it's quite... <laughs> I like to smother myself in moisturizer. Nice and thick. It's got a very natural smelling smell. Smelling cloth. Okay, I like this. This has given me the same feel as the Charlotte Zilby Magic Cream. It's given me the same glow. It feels just as hydrating, if not more. I know it's not meant to be a copy of that one, but I'm just telling you what it reminds me of. Looking fresh. That's quite nice, quite glowy. Honestly, that's giving me the same glow as the £70 Charlotte Tilbury cream does. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I don't think I've used this one. Reese's used this one on me. This smells really good. Um, I have used the Night Cream version and I'm a big fan. Not seen any huge results, but I've only been using it, I'd say, a week. So, yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna put a bit of this one on as well because I feel like you can never have enough moisturizer in your life. And this has got SPF 15 in, and I don't think the other one has any SPF in. So, no, the other one doesn't have any SPF in, so this is, gonna be there for your SPF. This smells like a, exactly how you'd imagine a moisturizer to smell. That is what that smells like. It's really nice, really thick. Spreads out nice and evenly. Mm, I like that. It actually smells a bit like summer. It smells a little bit like um, an SPF. <laughs> Which is funny because it's got SPF in. That might be what, why that smells like that. So yeah, nice. First impression of that. I like it. I'm gonna have to let you know how the makeup stays on it. But I'm, I'm happy so far, I'm feeling like really refreshed. My skin is looking very healthy, very glowy. Uh, I'm really quite happy with that. And now we're gonna go into the makeup. So the exciting. So I don't think this is a copy of anything, like I said, but. Good afternoon, my darling. I hope you're both okay. Looking forward to coming over tonight. We're really excited about having you. Hello, favourite mummy. Oh, fine. So excited too. We're excited to see you. Let's just try it. 
So like I said, I've gone to the trial for ages. Uh, even skin tones, blurred lines, imperfections. I bought this in the darkest colour, obviously, um, which was the summer one, but there was a light and medium version, but I fancy on those days if I'm not doing my own foundation, I want to look like I've got a bit of a glow. like your skin but a little bit better which i guess is the purpose of the bb cream let me know what you guys think of this one because i haven't just, that surprises me i think when they came out i was like I don't understand what these bbcc cute cute creams are <laughs> i was like oh it's too much i don't understand i'm kind of happy with that um, I don't think it's made a huge difference but I think it would be nice for those days when you feel like you just need something but you don't want to wear makeup. I'd be quite happy with that and a bit of concealer. So let's try the NARS, the NARS coffee um, of the concealer which is going to be a little bit light now because I bought this for doing under the eyes really. Um, however, I probably should have just bought both colours. I should have just not been... I was getting so carried away I was doing a food job at the same time and I was like, oh, this is going to cost a fortune and it did So I might go back and... Oh wow, this is thick. This is amazing. I'm not even using a sponge, I'm just using my finger. I don't know if you can see that. That's literally covered that spot completely. Now I'm gonna try this one. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get, and get some more of these. That is in, like literally amazing. It's definitely too light for that area, um, but it would be fine if I was wearing a whole face of makeup. And like I said, I bought it to go more of an under eye concealer. I have a little bit on my red nose. I'm going to go over a few spots. I'm going to go back and buy the darker version of this this afternoon. Hopefully there won't be too big a queue because it's a Saturday. Um, and like I said, I'm just using my finger to make this really simple and basic because I honestly am like the most, um, what's it called? I'm like the most low maintenance gal. <laughs> I'm not high maintenance. I think I like must be one of the only YouTubers or bloggers that is like low maintenance because I swear everyone else just look, looks done all the time and I'm just <laughs> I'm just so low maintenance. I'm like ain't it for an easy life. Whatever is the quickest thing I can put on that makes me look half awake, half alive is fantastic. So yeah, I definitely there were three shades, but there's only two there. Like I said, I got the lightest. I would have him put this on now. I think it's great for under eye, um, but I would have gone for the darker shade maybe to cover the spots if you're planning on having a makeup free day. If you're planning on doing a full piece of makeup, it's not going to make any difference at all, but it's blended really nice. I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say <laughs> that is nicer than the NAS because I've had the NAS. I can't what shade I had it in. I had it in quite a dark shade and I didn't love it. Life goes on. So next I'm going to try this brow gel which I'm assuming is like give me brow, give me brow. I'm going to try and come a bit closer to the camera so you can see. I'm just going to do like little brushes up. It's very subtle. This is a light um, but as I'm blonde I didn't think it was Smart to go for anything else. This is nice, quite natural. You can see a bit more definition than that one. So again, nice for those like more casual makeup free look days. Normally when I say makeup free, I'm makeup free, but you know sometimes it's nice to have like days where you've got a bit of makeup on, but you don't look like you've got any makeup on. So that's good for that. I quite like that. Can you see the difference? but I like and then for my mascara recently I've always been using so this is like a pound for pre -mount. which is opening on Monday in Wales if you didn't know also I just want to show you the difference between just an eyelash curler and not so this is why we use eyelash curlers okay it's going to be hard for me to um, put this on 
facing you. So I'm just gonna, oh my God, the brush is funky. Look at that, really funky. And then my trick to try and not get it all over my eyelids, which I always do, is tilt your mirror down, genius. It's nice, it's really nice. My eyelash has been playing up recently as well. Oh my God, really nice. I'm so happy with all these products. Makes me want to go and buy more. Makes me want to go on an Aldi spree. That is good. That is a good mascara. I've been missing good mascaras. I've actually got a shot at Filby once a minute as well and I'm just not loving it. Such a shame. It did come free so I didn't buy it but oh my God, is that how long my bottom eyelash is? What's going on? Okay, can you see? I'm gonna zoom in. So that is the one eye. Look at that. That's like the best mascara I've used in a long time. I'm happy with that. I'm so chuffed. This is like 5 99 I can't get over it. I thought you could see my brow closer there as well now. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think down below. I feel like I hope you watched this long to see the mascara. If you did watch this far in, then leave me a comment down below and just say hashtag goodbye tribe. So I know you're part of us, part of the team. I'm sure to the other two seconds, so I'm equal. So side note, if you are not already, Follow me on Instagram. I've got a giveaway on Instagram right now with some gorgeous earrings, the most amazing hair mask I've ever used in my life, and a most gorgeous speech bag ever. So head to my Instagram to see that. Okay, I'm so impressed. So, so, so impressed. So I'm gonna leave it there. Anything I didn't mention the price of, please feel free to just ask down below. I've really enjoyed this like sit down, more casual style video. I hope you guys have too. If you have, please click that thumbs up button and also make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's the big red button that says subscribe on. Or if you're watching it on a computer, it's a little round button in the corner. You can also press that. So yeah, thank you so much for being here today. I hope that I will see you in the next video. I upload videos three times a week, maybe more, Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Maybe a few little extra ones in there. You will know if you're subscribed. And thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy these products as much as I have. Like I said, if you've used any or if you've got any that I need to get, please leave me them down below or pop over to Instagram and let me know what they are over there. Thank you so much for being here. Love you all.